I'm Jacob, and we're going for a drive. All new 2024 Ford Ranger. Without launch control. We are going uphill. They're not the craziest. Horsepower and torque. 270 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque from a 2.3 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder. Are there other engine options? Absolutely, with more horsepower. There is a 315 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque option from a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6. And honestly, I would already recommend that, but that is coming at a later date, so we are driving the base model. And then this has the 10-speed auto. A little bit slow to downshift. But you can use it manually and as a gear limiter, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And then there is also a Raptor version of the new Ranger, which we will be driving tomorrow and we're not allowed to talk about, but we can show some videos. So subscribe right now so that you don't miss that video when it's out in two days from right now. So this Ranger is all new. Literally the frame, the body, the door panels, the engine options, everything's new now. And we lucked out and got it in the same orange color that we got the last one in that we drove when Chris Fix was in town and we met him. Is this not red? I think this Bro, is orange. Bro, this is red. This is orange. 100% this, this is red. Uh, no, this is orange. This is <laughs> Let orange. us know Bro, in the comments. Blind? No, are you? Are you? I'm gonna, look. This is orange, dude. No, this has got flake in You've it. You've been drinking today or not what? Not yet, only Red Bulls. <laughs> Monsters. <laughs> Hot pepper red metallic tint. I don't care. <laughs> it's still orange. It's still orange. Uh, so anyways, we got it with the chrome door handles and the chrome wheels and everything because we wanted the full old man spec and it looks pretty cool in this. Okay, before we keep talking about it, I'm gonna floor it. Oh man. Okay, this is in sport mode too. R-O-U-G-H. Yeah, so R U F F. I don't know what you're trying to spell, but Rough. it is very slow to downshift. Like I, I don't know what they did with the transmission tuning. I feel like they should tune it to have a little bit more downshifting sooner. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a little rough, a little rough. But back to looks. What did they change? The headlights, the taillights. We got all LED stuff in this on all the trims, which is very cool. And then this front is chrome where there are a lot of grayed out versions. What do you think of the looks changes? I mean, I really like how this thing looks. I like the uh, C clamp, whatever they call them, the DRLs. They look good in white because you can't get an amber one on the Raptor. Okay, uh, from the body lines, like, I really don't notice the difference. I'm sure there is some differences, but I really can't notice it. I think it's pretty major, Yuri. You, you notice it? Yeah, just like I noticed the red paint. <laughs> Anyways, looks cool from the side. Do you like these big fat chrome wheels? I mean, they're not big and fat. They're just small chrome wheels. <laughs> Every chrome wheel is big and fat. And what would be the Continental recommended tire for the new Ranger? The Terrain Contact HT, or if you wanted to take this thing off-road even more hardcore, the Terrain Contact AT. But what does it sound like from the outside? Okay, real life, I wouldn't get this with chrome, like the chrome door handles and, and the bumpers and everything. It's a little too much for me, but I, I like the look. I like the more look of like, you know, the little grayed out version, I think. Yeah, the, the blue one with the different grill looks really good and you get like the dark painted uh, fender flare kind of things. It looks really good. Yeah, and what's cool back there is we have a tailgate that's damped to drop and easy lift, which is nice. So luxurious. This one has the spray in bed liner, which is cool. Then we got a sidestep, which Ford is very, very proud of. Yes, for, to get into the bed. Yeah, you got like 300 pounds of standing on it. And <laughs> so if like, you, you weigh can, more than that. Yeah, you can fit both feet on there, none of these dinky ones that are attached to the bumper. Yeah, and then the bed is five feet. That's the only configuration that you can get with the Super Crew, which is the one that we're driving. And then there are also electrical outlets in the bed. And there's an electrical outlet in the back seat as well, three pronged. And in the bed, you can also fit sheets of plywood. Yes, I guess you couldn't before. Why would you make any truck that can't fit sheets of plywood? Isn't the, what is it, the gladiator? The gladiator where you have to like uh, lay it on yeah. the bed or whatever? Yeah, I guess. You, you have guess, to like prop up the tailgate? I guess because like if it would be a Rubicon or whatever, like yeah. do you think the Ranger Raptor can fit sheets of plywood? We don't know it's yet. It's the same thing. What if they had to change it for it's the It's the same. So overall looks wise, do you like this more than the looks of a GMC Canyon, Chevy Colorado, Tacoma, non uh, off-road versions? It's hard to say. I think they're all in a very even playing field in this generation. The Ranger has improved vastly from the last one, 
but I still think my favorite is going to be the GMC Canyon in terms of looks. I think looks wise, I'm a fan of the Tacoma, but I think this looks better than the last Ranger. Yeah. And then uh, functionality wise, I think this is functionality a little bit nicer than Tacoma, but then- What kind of functionality? Uh, like just like everything, sitting in it and being inside. Okay. Like the infotainment and stuff, which we'll get to. But um, I don't know, I kind of like the GMC as well. Yeah, it's a good looking truck. This is like the lower part of my list, but then if we're talking like Raptor versions and like TRD versions, and uh, what's the what's the cool versions of the GMC? Uh, AT4X and yeah, uh, okay. whatever. Then it's a different story. Uh, I'd still go Raptor in terms of looks. Okay, your turn to drive. What do you want to talk about? Everything, Yuri. Okay, but specifically? Suspension, more horsepowers and torques, seating positions, driving the thing. How about driving noise? Oh yeah, that's actually been improved too. Now we are driving the 4x2, which is rear wheel drive only, so I'm just gonna floor it again downhill. And USA only. Downhill? Not bad. <laughs> so okay. we are obviously on the press launch. We are in Salt Lake City, or at least just outside, which is beautiful out here. It is snowing and it is gorgeous to drive out here. Okay, I misspoke. Rear wheel drive is not USA only, but you can't get rear wheel drive in Canada. Yeah, so in Canada, the prices look like they are higher than the American ones because we only get four by four. So we are driving right now in the XLT, which is the middle trim. There's an XL below this, and then there's also a Lariat above this, and then obviously the Ranger Raptor. So we don't get all of our high, four high, four low, all that stuff. Not here. <laughs> so but, we, but you do get it. Yes, but we do have some drive modes and they are a little bit laggy to go through, but we got a ton of them in the center gauge cluster. The digital center gauge cluster, which we did not have in the old one, we had the TAC. That's right, but it's like, you can tell it's separate from the outside screens, which are like just like digital LED light up. Don't bore me with the screens and the infotainment. Tell me about the handling and the comfort, Jacob. I've never heard sexier words, Yuri. What, do you bring me down here to make me come, dude? No. -uh. Are you trying to get me hard? Was this a setup? No, I would never this do anything a setup. like that. Suspension has been improved vastly from the last one. Like. Like literally, it doesn't even feel like it's the same truck. Like they could have renamed this something. That's how good the suspension is now compared to the last one. And we would have known this if we watched European reviews because this has been out in like, uh, well, not, maybe not Europe, but like other parts of the world, like Australia for like the last two years. Yeah, yeah. So we finally get this one, uh, which is really nice. And then the powertrain options, I think are different than globally. Although I have not looked into that. But driving this, like, it doesn't feel like it's body on frame, even though it is. Like, this feels, and drive-wise, closer to a Maverick than it does to an F-150. This can pass as a very usable family car, like... Which is really impressive. You, the baby's not going to shake too much or something from yeah, a smaller truck. I remember the last one, like, going over, like, little bumps and stuff. You'd, like, really feel it, and, like, the body almost wanted to, like, separate from the frame, where this one doesn't do that. Well, they, I think they made the track wider and the wheelbase longer in this. Which will help with stuff like that, for sure. And then um, uh, quiet, it's very quiet in here. Yeah, it's a lot quieter in here. Whatever tires that they throw on this aren't really adding to the road noise. So it's actually quite nice. To I think drive. they added uh, more acoustic glass and everything. Okay, that makes sense. Steering also feels totally normal. Like Perfect. Nothing weird. Nothing wrong. The right amount of weight for a truck this size. Dude, nothing wrong with steering is the biggest compliment ever. Oh, there's a ski hill down there. Oh, nice. Gorgeous. There's probably a lot of them around here. Um, and then the brakes, they are disc brakes all around. I think the previous one had drums in the rear, if I recall correctly, but we've got discs all around and they're totally fine on these mountain roads. Yeah, it's, it's just good, normal truck nothing wrong so far and is we, there anything wrong so far um not for driving so just, we just, really just it's slow yeah so we really liked it's well it's not slow it's that the transmission makes the truck feel slower than it is because the amount of power that it has is adequate but the transmission just doesn't help the cause of what's going on i got here. a solution okay go, go to tsb.truecar.com order one before everyone else with the manual transmission there's no manual transmission. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, get one with the big motor, but uh, yeah, this transmission, I don't know what they did here. So I just downshifted with my actual manual mode. So now I'm second gear, gonna floor it. Yeah, it feels better. Exactly. It, it's just, it's not downshifting fast enough and the fact that it has 10 speeds to go through, it doesn't feel like it's going from like 10 to two. It's like, oh, I'm gonna take my time up. Maybe I'll skip through five or six. Yeah. That's but, the problem. But this also is the least sporty of the Rangers. Yes. So whatever, a it, little bit. Exactly. Speaking of the smaller motor, what towing do we have with it? Actually, 
towing is 7,500 pounds for all of them, which is really Ooh. impressive. Yeah, so that's pretty good. And payload does increase if you get the four by two. And right. this does have all the trailer assist stuff, so like the backup assistant and all that cool stuff and the brake in there too. Yeah, which is like straight out of the F-150, which is nice to have. Okay, can we get to the good, good, good stuff? Go for it, Yuri. Thank you so much for allowing me to talk about the suspension and the 10 the speed for so much. Time. Yeah, 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 <laughs> not to the good stuff. We have a nice interior. Yeah. We have a vertical screen for your infotainment with hard MF and buttons at the bottom for climate and volume. Sort of, but there are also some climate controls that are in the infotainment that are permanently there. There are enough buttons down there, yes. more than most other companies. And then, yeah, you got your heated seats and stuff down there and you can expand on it, which is always visible at the bottom. Then we got our Apple CarPlay wired or wireless. This has the all of them across the board are all connected infotainment, so you can use the app for them to do like remote start, but you can also remote start off the key fob, and it's not one of those like Toyota where it's got to connect to the car, talk to a satellite, come back. It'll just always remote start, which is absolutely awesome. And in this XLT, we've got a regular physical key, so nobody can take that away from you. <laughs> and then uh, I feel like this infotainment is faster than the Escape that we drove, because this is the this four, is 4A. 4A. Which is what they're throwing into like the F-150 and the But I, I, did, I, I did try to run the fan up while having Google Maps directions on and Spotify, and it did sputter a tiny bit, so. But we're also in a very low data zone. Yeah, so eh, I don't think they fully solved that, but I'll work on it. Other cool things is we've got buttons that stay at the top so our camera button stays at the top and you know even though it's not a hard button that's still an improvement we have 360 camera front rear while driving and then if you have the off-road versions you'll have like that with data laid over it I'm pretty sure and it is very high resolution as well yeah it's good it's always very accurate stitching in four trucks then we've got two cup holders which look excellent magnificent and if yeah. you get a low low trim instead of this drive mode selector you have a red bull holder okay i think and then we've got a normal shifter but if you get a higher trim then you get a sleeker shifter which is a drive by wire okay and then we also have a wireless charger in this one which is quite nice to have yeah and then we got a little compartment here for your phone or whatever and then higher trims this part opens up and we got like dimples up here which i'm very okay with that's a cool new texture it's it is hard though yes it is hard but and there are some soft stuff down soft here. Stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No. But there's a lot of plastic down here, and there is no gloss black, which is fantastic. Right here. Yeah, that doesn't count. Doesn't it? When I have to put my fingers here to hit these buttons? No. Okay, this has, uh, you can talk to the car. It'll go to your Sirius XM Channel 3 Fine. You've got Alexa. You have an option to enable sending your information to your insurance company. Never click that. No. Nothing good can happen you from can't, that. Your discount's not going to be worth it. You're just going to end up paying more. Don't trust the <laughs> for the no, love of God. Don't do it. Not even by mistake. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, Seats are also very comfortable. I was going to say that. Like very, very no comfortable. Complaints. Yo, I got forward and back lumbar on the passenger side. That is impressive. And the amount of bolstering for cloth seats, this is great. Yeah. No room in the back for myself at six foot one and a half for my legs, but my head is okay. Plenty of room at five foot eight behind myself, even behind you. And then now the back seats the back part folds flat where the last ranger it was folded on a little bit of an angle and they said some people with dogs don't really like that their dog is on a bit of an angle makes sense and then uh the bottom part comes up but it doesn't come up in a fold so if you have a child seat locked into one side you can't store anything down there then we also have the number buttons on the side so you can enter your door uh, with the number buttons that is my favorite feature of my raptor okay oh yeah Block Three, out the sun. Two, one. Yes. Hell yeah. Full pass. Good and, job. And uh, is there anything else we want to chat about? I think that's it, Yuri. I do overall really like this. My biggest letdown is this 10 speed auto. But they have a solution for the motor, which might solve that, and there is a Raptor version. Exactly. So, whatever, okay? Sure, whatever. Whatever. Let's get to the price. Hit me with it. The new Ranger starts at 32,670 American buckaroos. American. And the Canadian starting price is $44,065. Monopoly money. Which seems pretty reasonable for a starting price. As soon as you start optioning this thing out to the moon, gets a little bit expensive. Everything is expensive. Make sure you go to tsb.truecar.com to find the best deals. That's right. Thank you guys for watching. 
and definitely look forward to our Ranger Raptor review in two days from right now. Yes, subscribe and make sure you watch ours first so we win the embargo contest. For all you guys who don't know, <laughs> anytime an embargo drops, we're all competing to see who's got the most views and we love to win. And what an embargo is, is when you see your whole feed lit up with the same reviews. Yeah, we're all supposed to post on the same day. That's the rules. See you guys.